title, but you didn't get a victory tonight. I guess you're still kind of processing a little, but what's, what's the emotion for you right now? Uh, well, I'm happy with my performance. You know, I think I did, um, for me, it was 3-2. The second, fourth, and fifth were, were for me, but I'm not the judge, so, um, yeah, I'm not the judge. <laughs> Uh, the feeling coming in, I mean, everybody says, oh, it's just the same, it's another fight, but this was your first title defense, and it was this crazy Noche UFC night, so I mean, what were the feelings, the emotions, everything, was it, was it different tonight than it is in your other fights? Well, yeah, it was different, you know, it was my first main, main, main event, you know, in a, such amazing date um, in Las Vegas. I, I always wanted to fight here in this, this beautiful date, so um, it was really cool. I just, I'm just happy. I'm truly happy with my performance. Did it add any more nerves or pressure or just different than it normally feels when you get in there? No, I felt in home, you know, I knew that a lot of people from Mexico were, in, were here, you know, I, I felt the, the love and the, the power of all the cheering, all, all the energy, and I was, I was happy. Yeah. Your last fight was a battle with her, this fight was a battle with her. Um, was there anything in there that was different this time around, anything you didn't expect that surprised you? No, I expected like everything, you know, um, she's very competitive, I'm super competitive, and I was expecting this like a war. Yeah. Did you, I mean, as you guys were scoring, you said, as you're not judge, it's not your job, but what did you think going into the fifth round? Is, did you think you're ahead, I needed this, what was the feeling? Um, well, my coach said, hey, let's do this, you know, this fifth round, we're going to make a statement, and that's what I did. Yeah. How close do you think you were to finishing it there? I was pretty close, you know, I did a, an amazing knockdown, I was close in a few positions, you know, to finish the fight in Grand and Pound, and um, I think a I did a, a good, good fight. Yeah, she was frustrated because there was a 10-8 that made it a draw, are you frustrated because you, round four, right, didn't go your way with two of the judges, you thought that was yours, so are you frustrated with the scoring? No, I'm not frustrated, you know, I, I did a, an amazing job and that's what I'm taking now. Uh, last thing for me, I mean, she did have a, an injured hand that she said she hurt in the first round, so she doesn't know when she's going to fight. Um, but what do you think? I mean, does a trilogy need to happen, whether it be next or some point down the road, or do you care if this gets resolved? Um, you know, it's an interesting question. Um, I wouldn't like to stop the, the division. You know, there's a lot of girls fighting a lot, you know, to, to have this opportunity like I did, so I wouldn't like to stop it. But whatever the UFC says, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Alexa, over here, other side. Oh, Alexa, you, you said that in the fifth, or just before the fifth, your coach had said, "Hey, let's do this." The way that they was there a sense of urgency? I mean, obviously, if they're telling you, "Let's do this, let's finish it," did you feel that there was a sense of urgency to finish it and and try to get the win outside of a decision? Uh, not like an urgency, but yeah, we wanted to be clear. Like the fifth round was was for us, you know, the championship rounds are amazing and, and that's why I train so hard, you know, for the fourth and the fifth to be my best rounds always. Thank you. Alexa, over here. Um, Valentina a lot in the lead up, she kept bringing up, you know, seven time Muay Thai champion, I want to remind everyone, but she was, she shot for a lot of takedowns in there. Were you surprised that she wasn't as willing to stand with you and tried to make this a wrestling match? I was expecting that, you know, I know I, I always do damage with my hands and, and it's something I was expecting from her. Um, so yeah, I was, I was prepared. <laughs> After you dropped her in the first round or first or second round, did you get a sense of like her game plan might have changed because she did feel your power and it seems like after that she started to shoot for takedowns a lot more. Yes, of course, you know, when you have a, a good punch and you've, of course you have to change your strategy and, I'm, and I knew that she, she changed for that. Did you think any of those submissions that you were throwing up there, were any of them tight and were you surprised that she survived them? Uh, well, we're super competitive, you know, we are in the top of the division for one reason. And so, yeah, I, I trained very hard and I know she did too. So um, I'm just happy that we both give you guys an amazing fight. Lex over here. Going into this fight, you received a lot of support from the fans here in town that uh, the ceremonial wins and obviously at fight night itself. How do you feel to be the star of the show this week? Oh, it, it's amazing, you know, it's uh, my first main, main event, you know, Noche UFSA and such a, an amazing date and um, I love all the challenges that UFC are giving to me and I, I just train so hard for giving, you know, good results. And uh, after seeing this electric atmosphere inside the T-Mobile Arena, what's your message to Dana and the team if you were to try and convince them to make Noche UFSA an annual occasion? I hope. <laughs> I hope this could happen every year. <laughs>
and uh, being no HFC, I have one in Spanish for the Hispanic community. ¿Cuál es tu mensaje para todos los aficionados que vinieron a Las Vegas para verte defender tu título? What is your message to all the fans that came to Las Vegas to see you fight for the title? Pues quiero darles las gracias de todo corazón porque yo sé que toman tiempo, gastan dinero, viajan y vienen todo para apoyarnos. De verdad, eso significa muchísimo. Cada que yo me subo al octágono y escucho a personas gritar mi nombre, gritar Viva México, gritar si se puede, eso de verdad que llena, llena mucho de energía y, y me llena el corazón ver a tantas personas que nos apoyan. Bueno, thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. I understand that takes time, that takes money, they have to travel. Uh, I know that it's you know, just it, it, that gives me so much support, so much energy, and when I get into the Octagon, I fight for them, and just, uh, it's so awesome that they continue to, to support, so thank you. Thank you. Alexa over here, in the back. Uh, Alexa, obviously in March, you're going out there to score a big upset over a dominant champion. Tonight, you get to go out there. You were the favorite to a lot of people, obviously the fans. Can you talk about emotionally and mentally what it was like to make the walk second as the champion tonight? It was amazing. I remember when I, when I did my UFC debut, it was kind of pretty similar, you know, a lot of people cheering my name, you know, sending me their vibes. Um, when I was walking, you know, like was like taking their energy, touching their hands. So it was, it was amazing. You know, I, I love that uh, a lot of people came to support all the Mexicans. And then uh, obviously you're in the back getting ready, but, you know, Tracy, Lupe, Daniel, a lot of the Mexicans did well tonight. You're obviously aware probably who's winning and losing. Did that give you more energy or more anxiety before your fight? No, just excitement. You know, when I saw my teammate Lupe, she did amazing. You know, she's evolving so much. I saw her. Um, we were together in the training camp. So it was really, really happy. I was really, really happy when I saw her winning. And uh, all the Mexicans, you know, Tracy did well too. A lot of people, you know, I I'm just happy to see how Mexico is evolving and how the athletes are, are getting better and better. And we had a, a date and a car special for us. So this means a lot, you know, about Mexico. So um, I'm just happy for, for my country in this sport. When you tell the story about Noche UFC number one, years from now, maybe your career is over, what is the first thing you're going to talk about for tonight? Well, it's uh, just going to be great memories, and that's the goal, you know, to get old and just remember, like, oh, I remember when I was doing this. So, I, I just good memories. Thank you. Alexa, um, it was announced on the broadcast that the UFC is going to Mexico next year. Are you trying to fight on that, on that card? Hopefully, I would love to fight in Mexico again. And obviously, Aaron Blanchfield, Manon Faro are, are the two contenders. Um, would you like to fight them next, or would you like them to fight each other so that you get the winner of that? Or like, and if you if you do want to fight them, who's the one that you would like to fight? Well, I'm I'm really happy. They are both doing amazing. Um, you know, I have to talk with my with my coaches, with my manager, and also with the UFC. But definitely, I would like to fight with um, a new contender if if that's the the next step. And yeah, it's gonna be an amazing fight. Thank you, Alexa. Para los niños que tú inspiras, ¿qué es que decir a todos los niños que ven a ti y como campeona y quieren ser como tú? Uh, to all the kids that, that you inspire, what do you say to them as a champion? They wanna be they, they wanna be like you. Um, lo único que puedo decirles es que sean disciplinados, que entrenen muchísimo, que no se dejen um, ir por placeres pequeños, no sé, cosas que no dan resultados, a lo mejor es una diversión a corto plazo, pero el esforzarte todos los días, el, el, el estar bien enfocado, el, el dejar de hacer cosas que todo el mundo hace, te va a llevar a hacer y a lograr cosas que muy pocas personas pueden lograr. Entonces, el camino es duro, claro, es súper difícil, eh, a veces es un poquito como ah, frustrante, ¿no? Eh, pero vale la pena. Cuando ves el resultado, cuando des, te acuerdas y dices, wow, todo lo que luché, todo lo que aprendí, todo lo que logré, eh, yo creo que es, es, es una recompensa mucho más bonita que, que no hacerlo y que no intentar. Um, I would say that the discipline, uh, the hard work and train uh, is very hard and not to let yourself astray for small pleasures um, because that's, a, that, that's just short term uh, satisfaction. I mean, you, you do, uh, do everything, the few thing, the, the things that few people will do, um, it will get you great things and um, it, continuing to work on uh, on everything and just it, it, it's so rewarding when you get there finally like, I did it 
because I work so hard at it, and I, and I, 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 I uh, refrain myself from doing other things that everyone does to get things that they won't ever get. So it's very important. Ahorita estás sonriendo, te ves feliz, pero cuando te metes al octogono, cambias tu forma de pensar. Tienes como ojos que te ves como un tigre cazando. Um, right now, you look really happy. When you get into the octagon, it's just, you're a different person. It looks like a, you're a tiger hunting. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, um, that's something that fighters can do. You know, we're chilling outside, but once you get in the octagon and, ay, <laughs> una vez que se cierra la jaula, eh, todo cambia, estás en la guerra, y, y eso me encanta también, ¿sabes? De, de poder disfrutar ambas, ambas partes de, de, de mi vida. Uh, once, once the door closes, you're in a war. Uh, it's amazing, but I'm glad that I'm able to actually uh, enjoy both of these things in my life. ¿Y cómo vas a celebrar ahora? ¿Vas a celebrar? ¿Qué me escuché? ¿Viste? No te escuché. ¿Y cómo vas a celebrar ahora? And how are you going to celebrate now? Um, eating pizza. <laughs> Comer pizza, ir con mi equipo, eh, hacer nuestras maletas, porque ya mañana salimos eh, de regreso a Guadalajara. Eh, pues nada, a mí me gusta pasar tiempo con mi equipo, con, con todas las personas que, que me apoyan. Y ya. <laughs> Get some pizza, pack our bags, because we have to go to Guadalajara tomorrow, and, and that's what I like to do. I like to be with the people that, that are next to me, that are with me and supporting, and that's it. Alexa. A couple in English here, and then y luego en español. Um, do you think this is the last you see of Valentina, or do you feel like you're gonna come across her at some point in the future again? Well, I don't know. You know, it, it all depends of the UFC. If they want a trilogy, let's do this. If not, I would like to give an opportunity for another girl. I know how it is how it is to be fighting all the time. You know, to 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 wait for your spot, and I wouldn't like to stop just the division. But whatever the UFC says. Yeah, but. Uh, if it was up to you, do you prefer a fresh matchup or a trilogy with Valentina? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just fought. I, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight right now. But um, I don't know. Whatever the UFC says, I'm I'm always up forever, and any challenge they put on me. And and the UFC did a great job in celebrating Mexican independence and its Mexican talent. Um, but Dana White hasn't said that this is going to be a recurring thing, an annual thing. Um, would you like for this to be an annual thing, given the success of the event and, and a, a date that you would like to fight in in the future as well? Honestly, yes, I would like to. I would love to. I mean, I hope this could motivate a lot of Mexican athletes to do their best, you know, to to win a spot in in this date every year. And I just hope that the UFC liked what all the Mexicans did tonight. We heard chants of Alexa, Alexa, Viva Mexico, and, and you know we, we really felt the Mexican presence there. Um, wondering, did you feel it, and did you feel like um, your performance was enhanced by the crowd? Of course, you know you like I said, it's a it's a big energy that when you're listening like the cheering and every people because it, it might sound crazy but they, they send you the energy and you can feel it so it's amazing to have a lot of support in here y, y rapita en español eh, como juzgaste tu la pelea al final te sentias cómoda que te ibas a quedar con el cinturón and how did you score the fight did, we, did you feel comfortable did you feel that you were going to actually get the win Sí, yo, yo sabía que había sido una pelea dura pero yo califiqué tres rounds para mí y dos para ella I said, it was, I, I, yes, I knew it was going to be a, a tough fight, but uh, I said 3-2. Y ella había mencionado que en la primera pelea, pues fue un error de su parte, más que crédito a, a tu desempeño. Ahora después de, de esta pelea, eh, ¿te sientes cómoda en decir, o bueno, ya, ya de pronto lo sentías, no sé, dime tú, en decir, yo soy la mejor hoy día en la división de las 125 libras? And after the first fight, she actually said she made a mistake, and that's what happened in that fight. After this fight, winning again, uh, you would say, I am the best. You feel comfortable saying, yes, I am the best, and I do what I need to do. Sí, bueno, pues saben que a mí nunca me, me gusta hablar, a mí me gusta demostrar con mi trabajo, y creo que lo, lo sigo haciendo. As I said many times, I, um, I don't like to talk. I like to show things, my work, and I will keep doing that. Gracias y felicidades. Alexa, aquí atrás, en Quintana. Primera que nada, felicidades por tu triunfo. Y preguntarte, desde el primer momento de la pelea, las dos fueron al frente con mucha agresividad, pero por, por momentos parecía que ya la tenías. Llegó a pasar por tu mente que la sometías y 
pegado a esa pregunta, llegó a pasar por tu mente aquella famosa frase de Ay, Jalisco, no te rajes. Oh, that's one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're not trying. Okay, so let's, let's go with it. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, one of the things that happened was uh, from the start of the fight, you were really aggressive, All, both of you going at it. Uh, did you really feel that you were, there were times that you were going to get her like you really had her? And of course, please. Just illustrate to everybody. But. Sí, la verdad es que estuve muy cerca de finalizar en varias ocasiones. Sé que eh, golpeé fuerte también. Y yo, yo la verdad es que me siento muy bien con todo lo que hice. Y claro, Jalisco no se raja. <laughs> Um, that, yeah, I did, I did feel that I, that, I, that I had moments that I, I, I feel very comfortable with everything that I did. I think I did really well. And, <laughs> sí. uh, Alexa, Alexa over. Eh, felicidades por retener el cinturón. Alexa, eh, Valentina estaba diciendo que se fracturó el, el dedo en, la, en el primer asalto. ¿Alguna vez en, en, durante la pelea eh, te diste cuenta de que quizás algo estaba mal con, con, con ella eh, durante la pelea? Um, uh, Valentina mentioned that she actually fractured her thumb in the first round. Did you, during moments of the fight, did you feel that, did you, did, were you able to, to pick up on that? Eh, pues mira, somos peleadores, la verdad es que eso es nuestro, nuestro trabajo. Yo una vez una pelea me rompí el cruzado y yo creo que nadie lo notó, entonces en este nivel somos súper guerreros. Um, we are fighters, we are going to uh, always keep going no matter what. I, I once in a fight actually got injured and I don't think anybody uh, never noticed. Um, so we're warriors. Ya, de segundo, ¿de qué es lo que estás más orgullosa esta noche? And uh, second, what are you most proud of tonight? Bueno, de lo que más me siento orgullosa es de que, como yo les prometí, iba a dar una guerra, iba a pelear hasta el último minuto y solo espero que les haya gustado mi, mi pelea. Um, as I said, the thing that I'm proud, the, the, proud, the proudest is what I, I said, everything that I, I promised I was able to deliver, I said I was going to deliver a war, and, and that's what I was able to do. And I hope you enjoyed my fight. Alexa, over here. Uh, I'm just curious, like, when you got her on the ground and got on her back again, we're working for the choke, were you having flashbacks to the first fight? Yeah, I had flashbacks, but um, like I said, we are super competitive. She did her job, and it was, it was hard to, to repeat it again. <laughs> Definitely. And, you know, one of the best attributes you have, of course, is your boxing, phenomenal stuff. But uh, throughout your career, you've kind of, I've noticed fans maybe criticize, you know, lack of power and, you know, these things like that, despite you having such great boxing. But you got the knockdown in this fight. And I'm just curious, like, does it feel really good to maybe shut people up and show you have enough power to be able to knock down, you know, one of the greatest fighters of all time who never really gets hurt striking? Just... Does it feel good to, uh, you know, showcase that a little bit? Yeah, you know, the plan was to finish the fight, you know, but I showed my power. I've been showing, like, every single fight, my, my evolution, um, everything I've been working, and uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just happy with everything I did in that fight. Congrats, champ. Just one quick follow. The knees in the fourth round, I know it's happening, like, really fast, but do you remember processing, like, I could tell she's not down, she doesn't have her hand down, or did, what did you see? Because it... It happened fast. I was worried they were illegal. What, what, what did you remember? No, no, I was pulling her up, you know, and the referee was, was super clear. We had an amazing referee in the fight, so no, no, I, I was pulling her up. Alexa, uh, acá atrás. Eh, acá. No sé si ya tuviste eh, pues ese mensajito, esa llamada con la familia. Si es así, eh, pues, ¿qué te dijeron? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál fue lo que te dijeron? Y también, ¿qué hablaste con tus entrenadores, con tu equipo al final? Um, I don't know if you had the opportunity yet, but exchanging fa messages or, or calls with your family, what did they say and uh, what did you talk to your coaches about after the fight? No, todavía no he podido hablar con nadie. Estoy trabajando todavía, pero ya ahorita que salgo voy a hablar con mi familia. I haven't been able to speak to anyone. I'm still working, but as soon as I get out of here, I'll speak to my family. Gracias.